शांति अ फुल स्टॉप इज वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट इट फिनिश इज द ओल्ड एंड बिगिन द न्यू It allows us to let go of things that are not required and to start things that are important. Similarly in the mind as well. There's so many things that are taking place. There are so many voices. Things that have happened taking place events situations from the past it could be from things that happened an hour ago to things that happened months and years ago and they can just keep lingering on until I consciously put a full stop. And when I have the ability and master this art of putting the full stop, I have a lighter, easier and larger space to work with. So how do I put a full stop? Consider all those things that you're really caring in your mind. Are those things in your control? Is there something you can do about it? a huge amount of anxiety stress and negative emotion is a result of holding in the mind things that you want to change that you want to control but you have absolutely no control over and you feel very helpless because they're not changing the way you want them to be changed it's just very important to understand if those things are external to you other people's behaviors situations and events that took place in the past they may take place in the future again but you just can't do anything about those those people their words their behaviors their actions their attitudes you can always go forth and share what you think is the best with them feed them back with what they are actually giving but you cannot control and so when you understand that you consciously clear that off the mind saying these are things that if i carry with me there's nothing i can do about i will only feel more and more helpless i'm simply putting more pressure on myself so today i decide to put a full stop to completely clear those off the slate of my mind and so i'm meant to sit now and send an email to somebody i'm supposed to go and cook something i'm meant to drive the car or i'm here to meet somebody those thoughts have zero significance right now just brush them aside 
And so the moment you commit yourself to brushing them away, and you consciously state that I'm putting a full stop to those thoughts, that's your first step towards freedom. If it comes back to you, which it will, just remind yourself that I've already considered this thought, I've already considered that person, I've already considered what is actually happening in my head. It doesn't make me feel good and I can do nothing about it. And I've already decided to put a full stop. And so once again, gently remind yourself that I'm putting a full stop and clearing it off the space. And when you do that, what you also need to start looking at the same time is the new sentence that you want to create. So you put a full stop and then you start seeing where would you want to focus? Where would you want to have your mind in which direction? And then put yourself in that direction. Occupy the mind with that new, fresh thought or action or certain words. So let us take the significance of a full stop in our lives. It's not something that you do just one time in the day. But whenever you get an opportunity, check what's happening in the mind. See what's required. And for those things that are not required, simply put a full stop. Free yourself from those. And entertain and engage with that which is important, necessary, useful, within your control. Shut